Hello students, welcome back to our channel. In today's lesson, we'll begin Chapter 1, Computer System from your Class 11 Computer Science Textbook. This chapter is the foundation of everything you'll study in computer science. So sit back and let's explore step by step. Introduction to Computer System Let's start with a simple question. What is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that takes input, processes it, and gives output. But when we combine the CPU, memory input and output devices, and software, we get a computer system. Think of it like a human body. Hardware is the body, while software is the brain that gives instructions. Together, they make a complete system, central processing unit, CPU, the brain of the computer. The CPU, or central processing unit, is often called the brain of the computer. It has two major components, the arithmetic logic unit, which performs all mathematical and logical operations, the control unit, which directs how data flows between memory, input, and output. Inside the CPU, there are also registers, small storage units that temporarily hold data and instructions. Without the CPU, no processing can happen. Input and output devices. Now let's talk about how we interact with a computer. Input devices, like keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, or even voice commands, allow us to send data into the system. On the other side, output devices, like monitors, printers, speakers, and projectors, present the results in a form we understand. And did you know? Today we even have 3D printers that can create real physical objects from digital designs. Evolution of computers. Computers didn't appear overnight. They evolved over centuries. It started with the abacus in 500 BC for basic calculations. Then Blaise Pascal's Pascaline in the 1600s could add and subtract. Charles Babbage's analytical engine in 1834 laid the foundation of modern computers. In the 1940s, ENIAC introduced the stored program concept. Then came transistors in 1947, integrated circuits in the 1970s, and powerful microprocessors in the 1980s. Today, we use laptops, smartphones, smartwatches, and even IoT devices powered by artificial intelligence computer memory. To process anything, a computer needs memory. There are different types, primary memory, RAM, and ROM. RAM is temporary and volatile. Data is lost when power goes off. ROM is permanent and non-volatile. It stores startup programs. Cache memory, a very fast memory placed between CPU and RAM to speed things up. Secondary memory, hard disks, SSDs, CDS, pen drives, permanent and larger storage. So in short, RAM is like your short-term memory, ROM is like basic instincts, and secondary memory is like a notebook where you write things permanently. Data and information. Computers deal with data, but what's the difference between data and information? Data is raw and unorganized, like numbers, images, or text. Information is processed data that makes sense. Data can be of three types. Structured data, neatly arranged like attendance records in a table. Unstructured data, like images, videos, social media posts. Semi-structured data, like emails or HTML files, where tags help identify data microprocessors and microcontrollers. The microprocessor is a small electronic chip that performs millions of instructions per second. It has evolved through generations, from 4-bit processors in the 1970s to today's 64-bit multi-core processors. For specific tasks, we use microcontrollers. Tiny computers on a single chip used in devices like washing machines, cameras, and microwaves. They control one function, but do it very efficiently. Software. Hardware cannot work on its own. It needs software. Software is divided into three main categories. System software, like operating systems, utilities, and device drivers. Programming tools, like Python, Java, compilers, and IDES application software, like MS Word, Excel, browsers, games, and custom apps. Software can also be proprietary, paid like Windows, freeware, free but closed source like Skype, or open source like Python, Linux, LibreOffice. 
Operating System. The Operating System, OS, is the most important system software. It manages hardware, memory, processes, and provides a user interface. Different types of OS interfaces include command-based, like MSDOS, graphical user interface, GUI, like Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu, touch-based, like Android, iOS, voice-based, like Siri, Google Assistant, Cortana, gesture-based, like modern smart devices. The OS is rightly called the resource manager because it controls and coordinates everything. So students, let's quickly recap what we learned today in chapter one. A computer system is made up of CPU, memory, input-output devices, and software. CPU has ALU, CU, and registers. Input and output devices help us interact with computers. Computers evolve from abacus to today's AI-powered devices. Memory is of many types, RAM, ROM, cache, and secondary. Data is raw, information is processed. Microprocessors and microcontrollers power everything. Software is divided into system, programming tools, and application software. And finally, the operating system is the backbone that makes computers usable. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more Class 11 computer science lessons. In our next video, we'll dive into Chapter 2, Number System and Encoding Schemes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class.